In this session, I'm going to show you how to add interactivity in the form of links in a YouTube video using YouTube annotations. Now by links, I mean the subscribe buttons that you see in videos or when it says watch this other video and you can click on that link and go to another video. This can be really useful if you're trying to promote other videos or encourage people to subscribe to your channel. Make certain that you're logged into YouTube and go to your video manager and then choose the video that you want to add interactivity to. In this example, I'm going to add it to a customized YouTube gallery video that is also in this series. So once you clicked on Edit, you want to come up here to this main menu area and click on Annotations. When you click down here where it says Add Annotation, you're going to see a number of options. You can add titles and little spotlight areas and labels. You can pause the video. and there's a number of other things that you can do, but specifically I want to show you how to add links within your video. To do that you want to click on Note. And then you want to scroll down a little further and you're going to see a tick box here that says Link. To add a link you can add a link to a number of places, but you can't really, you can't link outside of a YouTube video. So don't think that you can, you know, add a link that goes to your website. You can link from within YouTube. And so you can link to another YouTube video to a particular playlist, to a channel, or you can enter that subscribe button that I mentioned before. Let's go ahead and do one of those. So now we have our uh, text area here, and I'm going to put some text in there. And then I want it to stand out, so I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger, make it black, and then give it a, a red fill so that it, it is in contrast with the other colors on the slide and then you can drag it anywhere on the screen that you want it. I'm going to put it here but it, where it doesn't really distort uh, really important information. Okay, now, now that we have our text created and styled properly, I'm going to look at the duration. Now I know that I have this introduction slide on here for approximately 30 seconds in this video. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to try and start it at zero but it's going to start it a little tiny bit into the video. So I just go ahead and hit zero and then it's going to reset it to wherever it allows it. And then I'm going to have it go to 30 seconds, but then I'm also going to test it to make certain that that's where I want it to end. I don't really want it to disturb the, the meat or the body of the video. So if I expand it here or advance it to about 33 seconds, I see that that's just about where I want it. Okay, so now that I have that set up, I'm going to click down here on Link again and show you how to create your button so that when somebody clicks on it, they actually go to the subscribe screen on your YouTube channel. I'm going to click Subscribe or select Subscribe, and here you want to enter a YouTube username. And so I'm going to enter my username that's affiliated with the channel that I want them to subscribe to. And then I usually always click open link in a new window because if somebody does this while they're watching the video, I really don't want to disturb their experience while they're doing it. Now if I change my mind, I can click delete right here or I can go ahead and add another one because I do want to add another one at the end of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this little bar here toward the end of the video. And that was just about perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it right here because this is where I want my annotation to show up again. And I'm going to scroll back up here and choose Add Annotation again. Note, I'm just going to go through the same process. Okay, now I have my text in place. I'm going to come down here and adjust the duration. I want it to go to the end of the video or as close as it will let me go to the end of the video. So I'm going to put a 41 in here and see it'll, it'll adjust it to where it's comfortable. And so here's my button, but I want to make it a link again like I did before. So this is to demonstrate also for you that you can put more than one within the same video. Okay, now that we have our annotations, if in case you want to edit any of them, you can pull this down right here and it's going to show you the annotations that you have and you can click on one of them to edit them. Otherwise, if you're happy with what you've created, click Publish. If you want to create a link to another video within YouTube, you're going to go through the same process that you did for creating the subscribe annotation, but you're going to put the link to uh, the actual direct link to a video in there. I'm going to show you an example of that here. 
In this a mobile optimized landing page video, I have a link to the book trailer that, that this is based on. So if I scroll up here to, after I've clicked on edit the video, if I click on annotations and I pull down here to edit existing annotation, you see that I created this using a note the same way I did for the subscribe button. Here's my text, here's how I styled it, you know, here's where I placed it on the slide. And then, but in this instance, I chose video, and then I put a direct link to the video right here. And then again, I would set my duration of, you know, how long I want the annotation to sit on the screen. So that now, when somebody clicks on this button within this video, they're going to be taken to the book trailer or the book trailer video instead of to the subscribe screen. Now let's go back to my channel so we can see those annotations live. I'm going to click on videos. First, I'm going to open the video that we put the subscribe buttons onto. Just a second into the video, we see our button appear. And when we click on that button, we're going to be brought to a screen that allows the user to subscribe to my channel. And notice that it opened it in another window, so I can go back and continue to watch the video uninterrupted. Now let's take a look at the mobile optimized landing page video to take a look at the video link that we added in that second example. Okay, now we see that the button popped up. When we click on that button, we're taken to the book trailer video. Again, this opens up in a new window, and I can go back and continue to watch the video that I originally started watching. And that concludes the session.